Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Please hit the subscribe button, please hit the notification button to get up for my videos. And today I'll be doing part two of the SpongeBob and Patrick and the Burger sculpture, but this time I'm gonna be painting it. So now I'm starting with painting um SpongeBob white because you know with lighter colors, especially if we're gonna use yellow, it'll be easier to start off with a base color of white so that uh it can be easier so you don't have to put so many layers onto the the sculpture. So that's what I'm starting with the base coat of white. And the reason why did I paint Patrick? No, I didn't paint Patrick on white. I paint Pat I paint SpongeBob white because it'd be easier. With Patrick, he was gonna be painted pink, and the clay kind of looked at, like pink, so it'd be easier. And with Patrick, I only had to add like three layers of pink for him. And then for for SpongeBob, I think I added for the white. I think I added like two layers. Did I add two layers? I don't remember. I don't remember. But either way, I had to add some layers on there. I didn't really have to add layers onto his pants, but half his pants had to have white and half it was just going to be brown. So it wasn't going to be a, such a big deal with that. But, um, yeah. But also, I hope you guys have an amazing day today. You're doing something positive and having, <laughs> and having an amazing day today. And doing something that's positive, having being optimistic about, you know what I mean? And trying new things. Hope you guys have an amazing day today, too. So, uh, I just repeated myself like three times already. But, yeah, anyways. <laughs> now I'm going to paint Patrick green. His shorts green because in, in the show, his, pa his pants were painted. Well, his shorts were painted green. So, I'm going to do I had to do two coats of this. I didn't want to show me of me doing two, two doing layers after layers. So, I just, just posted one layer of me, which is the first layer of green. And then I went around the the um his shorts to make sure that all the paint is on there, all the green's on there. But I had to wait until that part dries. So then I started painting SpongeBob's um hand yellow, and yeah. So um, hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what we'll do for the next projects that I have. I mean, there's already finished one of the videos up, so I'll be posting that next week. But this week, um. I'm gonna just post. I'm gonna post this video up for Sunday, which is my dad's birthday. So yeah, for next week, I'll be posting. You know the video I was talking about about with the doll. But uh, yeah. So um, now I'm painting SpongeBob's hand yellow. I'm trying to make sure I get it on. And it's okay if I mess up a little bit because it's it's fine because I can always like if I have dark color, I can always like wipe it. You know, just like cover it up. If it's a light color, like, I'll be careful. And I'm actually not give it to get it onto the shirt part, not the pants part, but the shirt part because it's gonna be painted white. Really trying to be careful not to get um yellow onto the white part because I don't want to paint it over again and waste that much white. Cause I don't have it. Actually, guys, I I was literally worried I was gonna run out of white. I was so scared <laughs> that I was gonna run out of white. So I had to just be very um. You know what? You know what's the word called? Just be very cautious of how many, how how many, how much white I had left. Cause uh, yeah, I was just running out. Are you are you literally used the? And if you if you guys can say you have two whites over there, like the clay white paint. Yeah, I use up that too as well. So the only thing I have left is the. If you watch my Michael's haul, you know about the case of different color. Um. The, the casing where it had different colors in it, like where it had red, orange, yellow, green, different type of blues, black, gray, a different color pinks, two different color pinks, and stuff like that. You know about that. That The, I, the white that I'm using is the one that's, that was shown to the, in the Michael's haul video. But anyways, I'm painting Patrick's um, eyes white because it showed in the show that his eyes, well, his around his eyes is white, which it, it makes sense because every person has white around their eyes and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm just painting that, making sure it's covered up, and yeah, that's just what I'm doing right now. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, um, I was going to say, I was going to say something. Uh, for next week video, not next week, next, next week's video, I have an idea of doing sneakers, because I feel like it'd be fun to do, to design some sneakers, maybe, or something else, so I'm thinking of design, designing sneakers for next week, redesigning sneakers, but, uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna focus on making the pupil of the eye, and, I'm, and I measured how, how I want it to be, so that's why I put two dots right there, so, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> That's just what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna apply uh, a, a drop of uh, paint, like a like yeah, a drop of paint right there, and then yeah, that's just what I'm doing at the moment. And then I did the same thing onto the other eye. I mean, not really. I didn't really measure the time. Just like let's just guess. I guess that's what I was doing. 
But uh, yeah, so then I um, applied some paint on there on the eye, and yeah, I mean I had to work, I work a little bit more off camera, so I decided to just work off camera a little bit here and there. But uh, it still looks nice even if it was like that. But I wanted to work a little bit more on to the eye, so that's what I did a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint his little nubbies, his feet nubbies, and yeah, because you know you can't forget about those because even though. <laughs> They're not the most important. They're also very important at the same time. So I had to focus on painting the cute little nubby feet. So yeah. And um, yeah, and the green of the shorts looks so nice. I really like the, how, the, how the green looks. And then I, then I turned over and I painted the back of uh, Patrick because I had to wait until the other side dry to paint the other side, the back. So I painted the back of Patrick. And I was making sure I applied it on there, making sure I don't get it onto the other side, the dry side, because I didn't want it to, to stick onto the um to the desk or the paper thingies. And I really need to change my background. I really don't like my background of like not background. I really don't like the the setting, my setting, the setting of where I create stuff. It looks kind of messy to me. So it'll be nice to like change something up. Which I'm gonna try to figure a way out to change the the um the setting or something like that. I'm gonna find something that can um. I kind of want something to look nice. I want it to look neat and, you know, pretty. So when you guys come in, you're like, oh, it looks, like, so neat or whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm going to figure out how I'm going to, um, work, what I'm going to use to, um, cover up my desk so that my desk doesn't get messed up because it already is already messed up. But, like, I don't want to get super messed up to the point where I can't really use it. I mean, I can use it. It's just going to be messed up. I want to find something where I can sit the something onto the desk. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'm painting... The, the green, <laughs> I painted the shorts green on the other side to match with the uh, with the dry side. So then I had to add a lot of layers to this side. And, I mean, I think I had like two layers. No, I added three layers. First layer is this. The second layer looked it okay. The third layer was was the best actually. So then um, I applied that. I applied the green onto the back, and then I started sketching outline. I, mean, I did the outlines off camera so I could make sure it's accurate. And then I decided to paint in. The flowers. I'm not sure if they're flowers, whatever they're called. If you know what it's called, comment down below. If you can't comment down below because there's no comments, I guess you can talk to me on Instagram. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, then I fill it filled in with the purple, and I worked on the other side, and I started to work on the side of where um the flowers were, and I did, and also I did some research to make sure that it was accurate. So I just you know made sure. So basically, what I'm saying is I say this every time I video. But if you're going to make a character from a movie or a TV show or whatever, make sure you do research on how that character looks. And if you want to do even more research, I suggest to watch the show or the movie to get a good idea of the character's personality and of like what the character looks like in general. So yeah, just always do your research about characters. Or if you have an idea in your head that's that's not really in, that's not really on the internet, but it's in your head. And get some ideas off the internet that looks like your idea, and just like just do a sketch of the drawing of your the idea that you have in your mind, or you can or you can actually just draw it on paper. Instead of just researching something similar to your stuff, you can actually just draw the the image you had in your head. You can just draw and sketch to make it look, you know, I mean, to have a good idea of what you want it to look like. So then. I got it. I got this this toothpick. I think it's toothpick. I got, I got this toothpick and I put the crate. I put on um, my crazy glue and I put glue on it for it to attach to attach it on on Patrick so it can be a still he can stand because he didn't really couldn't really stand because you know he was kind of you know he was kind of heavy so I had to put something to help him stand up and then I go back to painting SpongeBob and I paint the bottom part of SpongeBob's um pants brown because it shows it in the show. So I decided to just carefully not to get on the tie because I did not want to get on. I mean, the tie is okay. I, I was trying to carefully not to get the brown onto the white shirt because it'll take a lot of time to get in that, the brown out with a lot of layers. And also, I was running out of white. So I was trying to be very careful and diligent at what I was doing. And so I was painting around the thingy and then had to wait until it finished was drying. <laughs> and then I had to wait until it was finished drying because... um. If I just move on to the other side, then it's gonna just gonna get messed up because then it can smudge it and it can you know get everywhere. So then yeah, and then I was gonna paint the bottom part, guys. I don't know if you guys see it, like like glitching out, it's glitching out for you. I'm sorry for some reason it's glitching out for me. But um, then I decided to paint the other side of it, the side of where um where the sewer shoulders are. Then I painted under no, I didn't paint it. Then I painted the tie red. I'm not really a big fan of the color of this red. I wish it was a brighter red. 
But I, I had a brighter red color, but I didn't feel like getting it. So I was like, nah. <laughs> I didn't feel like mixing it because I, I was running out of white. And because I was lazy at the same time. So I was like, nah, it's perfect. It's fine. So, yeah. And then I went ahead and I focused on uh, painting the the shirt. The, the shoulder, sorry. Because I see a smudge on the on the shirt. I want that. I was just focusing on it. I'm like, eh, that's annoying. Um, But anyways, now I'm going to focus on painting the shoulders and... Yeah, and I painted, then I started painting his teeth, his iconic teeth, and I painted his teeth white, and yeah, I, I didn't realize this, I thought, I re I didn't even knew that Patrick had teeth, because they always show him with no teeth, and I researched, like, and I said, hmm, does Patrick have teeth? And he does have a teeth, yeah, yeah, he does have teeth, like, I didn't really realize it in the episodes where he has teeth, because I wasn't really paying attention, I was just paying attention to how funny and stupid they were, <laughs> so like, yeah. But I realize they, that Patrick does have teeth, but it's like so they, they'll show it sometimes and they don't show it his teeth sometimes. So I just thought, you know what, I'll just go with the iconic look where he has no teeth. So, um, for Patrick. But uh, anyways, now I'm paint, I paint, finished painting the shoes, now I'm going to paint the eyes, eyeball. And I did the eye, some of the eyes off camera, so uh, so I decided to, to not shape. So I went ahead and I go ahead and try to draw a circle on his eyes. I could have just used the end of the um, paintbrush to just put a dot right there, a blue dot, and just start it off and try to build my way around it. But I feel I wasn't thinking about that, so I just decided just to just do it the way where like you use the paintbrush, you draw a circle on there, and yada yada, and that's it. But uh, um, yeah, and then I worked on the other eye, the off camera. Then I worked on adding the dot, the black, the pupil in the center of the blue eyes, and then. I expanded that. I actually expanded the eye off camera, the pupil part, because I wanted it to be look bigger. Because his his pupil was actually bigger than the blue. And then I turned. Then I focused on the back of SpongeBob, and I applied the white on there because you know the reasons why. Because you know it'll make it the the it'll be take a long time to cover up the um the original color of the clay. So I decided just to go with white, so that it could be easier for the yellow to um to cover up the original color. So then I go ahead and I work on the the shirt to, to make it white because that's, you know, SpongeBob's shirt is white, so, <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyways, I'm just still painting that part, and uh, yeah. But anyways, now I'm going to focus on painting SpongeBob's shorts brown. And I'm trying to, to to make sure I got the bottom of the pan. Not the bottom, I mean, you know what, like, his pit, the shorts, where, like, the shorts end, where, like, how shorts have, like, that... I don't know. I'm painting that the the where the, the the I was painting the pants leg. That's what I was painting. Now I'm painting the shorts and uh yeah, I was, it was so hard for me to understand. Not understand. I was confused what that was called for a second. Like the pa pants, it's called pants legs, but I forgot what it was called for a moment. My goodness, <laughs> my memory is really bad. So uh, sorry about that. But anyways, I gotta. I, there's this one spot that I just missed. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, where about that spot? Where about that spot? But, uh, <laughs> anyways, excuse me, I just burped a little bit, but anyways, now I'm gonna paint, um, Spongebob's, um, now I'm gonna paint Spongebob yellow, because it's his cola, uh, I mean, because, because Spongebob's yellow, but, uh, anyways, I'm just gonna paint that part, and then I cut a little bit off, so that I can just, like, you know, so it doesn't be so repetitive, so, uh, and then I finished painting the back of Spongebob, and I had to do two layers, or three layers, to get rid of like to hide away like the original color it was and yeah and then i focus on that i apply glue onto his face to apply his lashes on there i couldn't forget about that so i applied the lashes on there one by one so that's one and then two is gonna come up soon so one two and and i'm trying to fix that one because it was like it was annoying to me and then i apply number three on there number three okay yep number three <laughs> And then I put number three on there, and uh, yeah, so it looks really nice. And then I uh, I want to show you how that I applied the stick on to SpongeBob too, cause he wouldn't it couldn't stand. I painted it yellow because you know I didn't want it to be like just a like a a glue glob right there. And then I decided to go ahead and put the Mod Podge on it on it to seal in the um to seal in the um turn to think sorry to seal in <laughs> to make sure that it's protected and sealed in it has this like to make sure it has this like pretty shine to it 
And for Patrick, I had two layers of the glue because I didn't want it to be so repetitive. And I was worried that the glue was going to show up again. Like the last time when I did the Lilo and Stitch sculpture, but like the, the platform for it. And I decided to, to just forget about the, the platform. <laughs> but uh, anyways, now I'm just painting um, Patrick with the Mod Podge, making sure. And I have to wait until that side dries to paint the other side. But anyways, now I'm focusing on the burger. And I painted the burger with the Mod Podge. I made it, painted around and made it. I mean, I made it, but I didn't make the Mod Podge. <laughs> Sorry, I had to correct myself for a second. But uh, yeah, I'm now painting the bun. And I started painting the burger. And I'm just focusing on painting the burger, not really the cheese, the lettuce at the moment. I'm going to just focus on painting the, um, the bun and the burger and the cheese. But uh, then... I painted, I think, I painted two layers for the burger, and then, yeah, so that's what it, and then I, then I had to, and I accidentally almost dropped it, so I had to pick it up again, because it kept on falling, because so I was trying to get to the cheese, I was trying to paint the cheese, so, uh, yeah, because I was really mostly just focusing on the bun and the burger, and I had to focus on painting the cheese again, so then, yeah, that's just what, that, that's why I almost dropped it, because <laughs> I was being clumsy, and then, that the bottom part dries so then I decided to paint the top part of it and I painted the lettuce and then I focused on painting the lettuce first and then I was gonna focus on painting the bun because you know first comes the nah first comes the lettuce not the lettuce I don't know forget it what I was trying to say I was trying to say the with the layers but forget it then I'd focus on painting the bun and I was hoping to god that the the seed like you know the sesame seeds would not fall off the burger because if it did I would have to like glue it on there and then you know I don't know, I would have to just glue it. I mean, if it did fall, I can just fix it, but I didn't, didn't want that to happen. So I was hoping to God that it didn't do that. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I focused on painting sponge, not sponge rubber. So I thought I painted him with glue, but I didn't. I, then I put, I forgot that he had like like these cheeks where it's like blushing. So I put blush on his cheeks. And then, yeah, and I showed y'all that. And then I put like little freckles on his cheeks too. And then uh, I wanted to show y'all what it looked like all together because they're supposed to be surprised that they found a cheeseburger so that's why i did that like that for the stand I and mean, they don't have a stand but anyways now i'm showing y'all what the burger looked like with the spinning thingy so um yeah and now i'm gonna show you patrick and yeah i wanted to do that to make it funner and then spongebob <laughs> so yeah and i hope you guys you enjoy watching the video thank you so much for watching and bye